Don't be hiding. You know you're going to be in a video. Are we going to be in it? You're going to be in a video, brother. You're famous. Famous. Yeah. Look, look at them two famous guys right there. Look at them. Famous one and famous two. That was the first thing I wanted to do was see how that thing cut around the edges. Uh, you know, my beds are kind of wavy in and out, so uh, that's pretty good. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. This is kind of my, uh, I'm excited. Uh, I got my Alec mower, and this is my yard right here, my tall fescue, and I'm gonna attempt to cut it uh, at two inches, maybe a little bit higher. I think the thing cuts a little bit higher than two uh, for the majority of the year, including the summer. So, hey, I'm out here. I'm getting ready to lay some crazy hardcore lines. The sun is trying its best to pop through that sky. And it uh, looks like we're good and clear over here. And it looks like the clouds are going that away. So, I'm not a, what do you call those people? Geometrist? Not geometry. Uh, geologist I don't even know people that study clouds and rain whatever you call those people I'm not one of those but just looking at it I think the clouds are going that way so uh, we should get a little sunshine and be able to show off some stripes and of course uh, this won't be the end you'll ever see of this outlet I'm gonna mow all year with it like I said we'll get plenty of good days with sunlight so that these stripes will be blasting now look I spent all day the other day on one of my emails, my blast emails, and it's in the link in the description, a link to that email. Well, whether you got the email or not, there's a link to it and anybody can read it. And that's the kind of thing that I do on my email list, okay? So go check it out. It's all about striping that I know. It's how to, when to, what makes it happen, uh, just just all kinds of information there. It took me all day to write it, so it's a bunch of work involved in it, so I want you to check it out. If you're not on my email list, get on it and subscribe to the channel because we're giving away five uh, battery-powered sprayers May 1st to five different people, but you gotta be on those two to get uh, entered into drawing. And if you look at that link in the description, that'll give you a good idea of what you can expect off my email list. That's kind of what I do. Maybe every third, fourth, fifth week or something, I'll send one out to you. And no, they're not all about striping. It's, we're getting ready to get into growing the actual turf and a lot of it uh, going from here forward is gonna be on growing turf and that kind of thing and different products and what you use when and you know, all that kind of, you've heard this before. Um, Enough chitter chatter, let's start mowing. I am really pumped up about this. All right, so I just mowed the entire front yard, which is, uh, I don't know, that's probably about 7,000 square feet, roughly. Now, I've been doing a pretty decent job at keeping it cut down over the winter and early spring, but look at this. That's all the clippings I got. Look at that, how that thing grinds it up. Holy cow. That's all the clippings I got off the front yard. So, and I've got the thing jacked all the way up. I think I'm gonna go down a couple of notches and go back over the front and start the spring a little bit lower. This machine is at two and, I don't know, three eighths, five eighths, something like that. I'll flash it up on the screen. I'll, I'll message those guys and find out what the actual high, uh, highest to single cut, and I'll put that on the screen for you. But I think I've actually been cutting the grass lower than I actually thought I was throughout the summer, uh, not the summer, uh, through the winter and early spring. So 
Uh, I'm gonna probably go down a couple notches on this and go back over the front, see what it looks like. Uh, then we'll mow the back and I'll kind of make my, uh, my assumption of what I want to mow at for the year. And if I started off two notches down, that way if I ever get behind during the year on mowing, I always jack it up a little bit and, and, and keep at it. Now that looks a little better. That is more of kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm, uh, right off the bat, right off the bat, look at that little bit of strip I left. <laughs> I'm going to have to practice a little bit on this thing now. It's a little bit different world mowing with this than opposed to a, uh, you know, a traditional uh, rotary type mower. Something else this mower has told me already is that my yard ain't nowhere near as smooth and as flat uh, as I thought it was. But that's okay, we're gonna fix that soon. Look at this, that brown spot. I spilled gasoline right there the other day, dang it. All right, so here's your little straight line tip, okay? You see my line runs right here and stops right here, but this next line needs to be over here, okay? And instead of me trying to start way down there and making a perfect straight line all the way to here, this is how I do it. You see that dark line down there? It would come right through here. Now, I didn't even worry about mowing that. I just come down here on the end and get lined up. I need a zoom on my camera, don't I? And I get, I get the machine lined up with my next stripe, which is way down there. Because I've already cut the one on this side, okay? Right here. So I line up back here. Now, my next stripe, I'll come even, I'll come even further back here and get it lined up with the stripe down there. And then once I get that line straight, then I come back, clean them up, then continue on like that. Look at there, that's some famous Poa Annua. Not a lot of options for herbicide and cool season turf, other than your fingers. I don't have much of it. I've got just a little bit here and there, a little bit around my edges. Probably comes from the neighbors. And that's how I manage it. As I'm mowing, I see it, I pull it out. Another quick tip now when I'm doing this when I'm starting way down here and trying to match a line up to keep it straight I'm not looking at the mower I don't look at the mower I don't look at the grass right here or nothing I'm looking at that line the entire time that way I can get right on it Now you can see, and I don't, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's got a little bit of a whoop to do in it. Just a little bit. That's more of me not being comfortable with this mower yet. That had nothing to do with the way I lined it up. But when I mow next time, I take that little whoop to do out, get rid of it, 
and that thing will be dead straight. Now here I am on this same line right here and this distance between there and there, it ain't a lot. So I'm just gonna make myself drive a straight line. Let me say this, I did, I'm, I'm putting two and two together. That's a little bit more poe annual. I do have a little bit more in my yard than I have in the past. In the past, I've had little to none. I'm talking about like maybe one seed head in the yard a year and that's it. So let's think about it a minute. What am I doing different? I'm cutting the grass short. I'm not keeping it up super tall, super thick and super bushy. That way the sun can't get down and, and germinate this stuff that's more likely already here or coming in from the neighbors, okay? Am I worried about it? No, I ain't worried about it. I'll just keep on picking it out. That quick I got out of line. You see how it comes straight and then comes over this way a little bit? Now watch, here's how I fix it. I'm gonna get in line with that white stripe right there, make me a stripe, then turn around, come beside it, and then start my new line. You'll see, watch this. Here's the cut line and here's my stripe line. So now when I line up, I'm gonna line up here. I'm not gonna follow that edge of grass that's already cut. I'm gonna line up over here. buttons are okay it's a little bit of a learning curve to all this uh yard looks good it uh let me give you my first impressions with no thinking about it um the cut on tall fescue when i'm cutting it up high with this is a little hmm, not completely sure i'm understanding it maybe that's a, a, a good way to word it Need to get with the boys at Allet and uh, see if there's something unique about fescue or something. It is a, it's clean, but there's a little sprig or two here and there sticking up. Now, I don't know if that's normal. I, I probably, I'm thinking it has more to do with the actual type of turf I have. Uh, as, and we're cutting it a little bit tall, okay? Um, obviously, these mowers are designed to cut low, and I can't cut my fescue but so low. Um, although I got the fescue at the shop at an inch and it's doing just fine. Um, this is somewhere around the two inch mark. I did drop it down a couple of notches from earlier and I've got an idea. I think while it's still cool, uh, springtime and the grass is, is good and strong right now, I think I'm going to go down to an inch and a half and just see the difference in the quality of cut. And by no means, I don't want you to think that the cut is yuck, because it's not. It's just not quite what I'm accustomed to, uh, with that nice, tight cut. Uh, but again, I've, I've always cut my grass high, okay? I've never cut it short with a real mower. And I just think the height of the grass is a little tall to achieve that super tight cut with this particular type mower, a real style mower. So I need to go down a little bit. And um, so I'm gonna try that out about an inch and a half, see how the cut looks. And then if it looks better at that height of cut, then obviously I'm gonna cut it at an inch and a half the rest of the year. We'll throw two inches out the door. I think the most impressive thing today 
for me. The, the single most impressive thing about this machine, look at how finely ground that is. So what I'm getting at is I've only dumped this thing one, two, three times. Three times on my entire yard. And yeah, I cut up, easily cut an inch off. Maybe an inch and a quarter. And this, I'm kind of on my double cut pass, just kind of clean it up and straighten my lines up. And I can probably, I can probably finish out the yard. So that'll be four dumps on my entire yard. Honestly, I thought I was going to be dumping this thing a hundred times, but that, I think maybe that's why it's so impressive to me because uh, my, my perception of how this thing cuts and grinds it up was a little different. And I don't know if the, the clippings being so much smaller, they're packing tighter or whatever, but so just want to say it one more time. If you're new to the channel or if you've been following the channel for a while, this is not typical. You understand not typical okay I've always taught mo tall fescue tall hence the name that's what I want you to continue doing especially if you're following my cool season guide don't dare attempt this okay no 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 don't do it don't please uh, this is a test for me uh, one to just see if I can do it number two see just how tough my GCI turf type tall fescue is, see if it can handle the heat during the uh, summer. And I'm gonna water as little as possible, just enough to keep it going and keep it green and all. And of course, it's all a good brand new learning curve for me. All this is learning for me. And I'm, I'm teaching myself how to push my turf and, and to see what it can do so that when people buy the stuff, I know more info about it to tell them. So it's, it's all just learning for me is all it is. So hey, next time we'll make sure that the sun is out. We'll get some good drone shots. This thing is going to glow like a new penny uh, when that sun hits it. So, so be sure and stick around so you can check that out in a future video. And again, if you're new, go back and watch my old videos. Okay, that's that, those, some of those where I'm talking about cutting it high. And of course, we got the test plot in the neighbor's yard. We're still cutting that high, and I'll do videos on them too, so, so I'm not leaving you hanging out to dry or nothing. But uh, I just want to make sure that's clear with everybody. I don't, I don't want nobody trying this and jacking their yard up. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day, and I'll check you later.